What's up, my left hand fam? On September 22nd, 2022, me and Tyler, we decided to go up to Rowdy Trout Ranch and do some fly fishing, guys. It was his birthday, and after lunch, the river guys decided to bless Tyler with the birthday PB trout. He hooked it, he landed it, and I'll tell you what, that fish right there helped me sink that little hook into Tyler's little heart and change his mind about fly fishing, guys. Ever since, we've been on a mission to get better at fly fishing. Now, firstly, for you guys, this ain't that video, but it's damn close to it. I really hope you guys enjoy our first camping trip, the memories we made, and I hope to see you guys next time so that you can follow us through our journey on fly fishing and hopefully pick up some tips and learn some things yourselves. Until next time, stay fit, stay fishing, deuces. We got a flat tire, y'all. What are the bumps in the road did we hit? I don't know. We had a late start. But finally, we made it. A little campsite. Try to bring y'all a little two-day video. Fly fishing the Jimmy. We got the yak. Hopefully, we're going to hit some flies on the lake or do some fly fishing on the lake. It's right there in the yaks. Hopefully, we're going to hit the Catchlet. Poudre River while we're at it. Who knows? It's a new spot. I've never really been up here, guys. This guy's introducing me some new land. Undiscovered for me. So hopefully we have a good time. See y'all in a while. Is there something that go on the inside? What? Some holes or no? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking about that shit too. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I can't reach it, Rocky. Y'all, so I just want to show y'all what we got going on right quick. I think I can flip the camera, but uh, we got our little wood pile set up. Put some, hopefully some flammables down there so we can start a fire on later on tonight. Somebody was already here, so you can see it smoking. They didn't put it out, but oh well, and lucky for us, we got a little wood pile. Set up our little stuff in there. Got our tent up. Little campsite. And well... We about to go fish. Should we hook, hook on something for a day in? See y'all in a minute. What up, y'all? So we left camp behind. It was laser. We mobbing. Trail. I guess the gate closes after Memorial Day at this lake. He didn't know. And we mobbing. I don't know. Dude said it's about a quarter mile, 10 minute walk or some shit. So walking up to the lake. And uh, I just want to show y'all what we doing. How the day's going. We jumped cap, or left camp, and we just out here mobbing, guys. From the city to the mountains in only two and a half hours. And we was cracking up, too, because at camp, we was using the hatchet to cut up some wood and stuff <laughs> to start our fire later later, uh, later on. And uh, it just made me feel like, like a man. <laughs> we got to cook our own Rocky's food. Like, we got to catch our own food. Yeah. Firewood pile and get more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta go get more wood. I want to chop some more. So it's pretty cool out here, though, y'all. I want to try to record as much on the phone and on the GoPros as I can, and let y'all know how the day's going throughout the day, and just kind of be a little memoir of our first little camping trip together. I ain't been camping probably since uh, Vincent and Gordo. How long? How long since it's been for you? 
two years ago, I took my wife and daughters to the Wolford. All right. See, we went to Antero. Oh, it's been a while. I took the kids. So, and I just, just thought y'all like to see the scenery. So, I just... Lucky left hand found some mob with us, uh, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> nice little aspen trees, but I'm gonna shut up for a second. Let y'all just hear this silence. Look at, all the, look at that mountain. Look at all the burnt trees behind it. See it? Huh. No, I'm blind, fool. Look at all them trees behind that fucking way out in the distance. Like, like the green ones, and, and then, then the brown black, ones, and then the green. That's all burned. In the middle. No shit. Yeah. That 2020 fire, bro. Is that a person or an animal? I didn't see no times either. We ain't got no lights. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do with the snap on one? To the Jimmy. Uh, at least we can run back. Can't tell nobody our secret spot though, okay? <laughs> Can't tell nobody. <laughs> First one is down my fly rod, guys. Little top water, you get that one. Little ant, little ant pattern. And I got a little that one tied on. I don't know if you can see it, but there's that one. And then this guy actually had one on too, but lost it. And we out here fly fishing, y'all. So I guess while we out here fly fishing, give you guys a little crash course. So fly rod it's a what five foot nine weight or a nine foot five weight sorry that's where it says right there it's a five six weight nine foot i think this is just a walmart special that he got but it's actually pretty nice i like it oh he got it at sportsman's i'm sorry anyway guys let me see you pick up your foot guys uh tyler please this green line here usually your fly line that's what's on your reel you also have your backing on your reel too but from your fly line, this guy got his leader way tangled up. Let's see. You got your leader here, which is maybe rocking the foot. There you go. You got your leader. Okay. And your leader is tapered down, guys. See how thick it is up here? Let's see if you can see how thick that is. Now it tapers all the way down. They have different sizes leaders too. You have nine foot, seven foot, you can make your own. By tying knots together, tie that, pull that tight real quick. If you can see that right there, there's one knot. Wow, and then there's another knot right there where we tapered it down again and we use tippet. And I'll show you what tippet is real quick. Go all the way down to his fly, and that's what he's using today. When he's tipping, get back fishing. out there, get back out there. But tippet, guys, tippet is this. We do have our spin reels too so this is usually your tippet guys right here and this is what you tie your fly onto your actual fly um give me a second give me one second you can stare at my ugly face for a minute again the leaders nope nope well, that was a leader leaders come in different sizes different uh tippets too guys so see this is a seven and a half foot 4x this is a three pack you can get them in nine foot three x five pounds whatever just gotta look around so that's your leader guys all right and then from your leader you tie your tippet and you tie your flies onto your tippet not your fly right onto your leader i was doing that when i first started fly fishing so just want to let you guys know we out here, y'all. My little fly rod, I just had one on, so I'm gonna get back to it. Can't zoom in on him, but he got a little fish over here. I just had one, too. I don't know what mine hit on, though. He got away. 
got off, but I went to actually recast and it was on there, so we'll see what else we can get. What is that? Three landed so far? First one, y'all. Look, great job. Look, great job. Yeah, look, great job. Look, great job. Oh, my fly rod. Come here, little creature. He's just a little guy. Look at him. He's just like, I'm just a little guy and I'm going back in the water. <laughs> that guy's hit one like three or four already. I've landed about four or five, some, several bites. He's caught a creek chub. I got a creek chub. We going to see if we get a brookie now. That'd be pretty nice if we get a brookie. Look at all that little action over there. That's where I've been casting at. Fuck it. It's the lake we, we hitting. So, get out here having fun, guys, with the fly rods. Ain't that right, Ty? Right. All the way right. No wrong. You little guy. <laughs> That's kind of a decent one for the ones I've been catching. Is it? Yeah. Right in the bottom of the lip. Oh, uh, yeah. I would have laughed if you would have went in like earlier. I didn't go earlier. I'm fucking with the tent. <laughs> hey, there's your release, guys. <laughs> no touch. No touchy the fish. He no touchy the fish. Yeah. Stop that little antique shop. Got some worms. It's like a little... That's cool. I like that table. We found a little antique shop. I'm a freeze tonight, y'all. Yeah. I'm a freeze. <laughs> Sitting here tucking in for the night. This guy's undressing. I'm finna freeze, just tucking my shit in. <sighs> but it's been quite an adventure. Went to the antique shop after some fishing. That little, that little lake was amazing. It was. A new little spot I might have to hit up. The fire's out there, cold, so that we get up in the morning. Put a little log on there, warm up. A little heater. And we'll go from there, y'all. Say hello. Oh man, we got Daddy Lake, y'all. That guy swears there was some moose moosing over there. There was some moose hauling ass down the shoreline earlier. Well, we had Daddy Lake, some unexplored territory for both of us. We are gonna see what's up and try to get on a couple fish this morning, do some bait and wait, maybe some some lures from the bank until the sun pops up a little bit, warm up a little bit. 
probably get the yaks out and then uh, go fish the Purdue later. So here we go. Lost a little guy on the power bait. I love the bite too. Oh, right there. Uh, it did have it though. The old power bait. I had a nibble. I don't know what happened. They've been rising. They've been rising with the sunshine. Rising. Oh. Sorry, guys. I dropped the phone. <laughs> we get a release on number. What is this, number three for you? Got one so far on a gold spinner. He's gotten two on some power bait and on a Joe Fly or on a Pistol Pete with the bobber, I think. That one's over there. He's trying to take off underneath the rock. But we've gotten three so far. We've been here maybe about 45 minutes. Maybe an hour, if that. Not too sure. We might have to take this one home for lunch. And if we do, we do. It's all good as long as we eat him. He's gone. Is he gone? Who crew? Man, my hands are cold. I'm telling you, bro. It's about the fire. Oh, that's a brownie. All right. It looked like it. <laughs> it looked like it. He was a little speed demon. Is it? Yeah. That's okay. a rainbow. Look at it under his gills. Look under his face. You ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. You need the pliers? Yeah. He needs the pliers. <laughs> They must not eat worms here. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this one to walk. I don't know, huh? Where'd he go? I lost him. Is he? Oh, yeah, I see him now. I'm done power bait fishing if this one dies. I'm gonna have to go grab that one. What up, y'all? It's about checkout time here at the uh, whatever I forgot what it's called, but here at the campsite. So, gotta be out by noon. It's about eleven thirty. Red Feather Alpine Lodge, but again, that's that's it. In the day, we broke everything down, guys. Left them some wood. And I want to show you guys. We left it as we found it. We didn't trash it. We had dinner here. You know, we have breakfast or whatever here. We don't leave it all trash, guys. Do the same. 
be a responsible outdoors guy when you're out there on the lake, when you're out fishing, when you're out camping. Keep it nice so that you can use it, so that I can use it, so that we can use it and all enjoy the outdoors. All right, y'all. Get ready to head over to the Poudre River, catch a little Purdue. I'm actually pretty excited. Get on my fly rod and let's see if we can make it happen. I'm pretty sure, pretty confident we're going to make it happen. So, see y'all in a while. So, we camped here. Follow this road. And that's probably what, Bellevue Lake? That's Bel Air. Bel Air, there you go. Follow this road, and now we're here. And we're going to fish at the Pooter. Either down there, or we might drive up a little bit. That's Chambers. Into the fish ponds or whatever. Fish rearing ponds, and then head down. Or do you want to just start heading down? Okay. That's our plan, y'all. We're going to fly fish it, so. See the rest of it. 